What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope you like this video. Well, listen. Music pioneer and mogul uh, Barry Gordy has filed a $10 million lawsuit over a fictional film that shows him putting a hit out on a rival um, um, exec. So, let me read you guys the article. It's coming from the Jasmine brand. It looks like Barry Gordy isn't playing any games when it comes to his reputation. The legendary music exec has pop filed a $10 million lawsuit over a film that allegedly portrays him in a negative light. According to Radar Online, Barry Gordy is suing Timothy Bogart, the son of late music exec Neil Bogart, Hero Entertainment, and Universal City Entertainment Group over a 2023 movie called Spinning Gold. Gordy says that Spinning Gold was produced by Timothy Bogart and focuses on his father Neil Bogart's record label Casablanca Records, According to the record exec, Timothy has said this about the film. Every bit of it is true, even the parts that aren't. However, Gordy claims the film creates false narratives and paints him in a negative light. According to the lawsuit, the film created a made-up storyline in which Gordy is wrongfully and dishonestly betrayed as a thug and a mobster who goes so far as to order a murder for hire. The picture is unlikely to be a commercial or artistic success. However, the picture does succeed in defaming and otherwise causing great damage to Gordy. Barry Gordy claims the film betrays him as a gangster and a thug. He alleges one scene in particular um, had him putting a hit out on Neil. Uh, purportedly because Casablanca Records lured the Isley Brothers and Gladys Knight away from Motown to join the anemic roster of artists at Casablanca. The suit reads, none of this is true. And Gordy is not and has never associated with criminals or criminal behavior. And there certainly was never any solicitation of murder by or on the part of Gordy. The negative portrayals of Gordy and the insertion of the scene concerning plaintiff putting out a hit is vile, reckless, and baseless. It's character assassination and the desperate attempt to create drama where, a non, where none exists in a lackluster picture. This wrongful and illegal content of the picture has caused severe damage to Gordy and Gordy's reputation. The lawsuit accuses the defendants of defamation, invasion of privacy, and the intentional infliction of emotional distress. Now, let me give y'all my two cents because I actually saw this movie. And if you guys follow my channel, I believe I did a review of the movie. I don't know. I don't know if I even gave it enough of a whole review. I may have just told y'all about the movie in a live, okay? But here's what I'm going to say. The movie Spinning Gold is a terrible movie. It is absolutely lackluster. It is supposed to be based on Neil Bogart, who created Casablanca Records, which was um, the record label that put out Love to Love You Baby by Donna Summer, which made it, which catapulted the record label and it paved the way for, you know, many, many, many other hits. And it became a powerhouse in the disco era. Now, Neil Bogart died in the early 80s, so that was pretty much the end of that at that point. Um, but in the movie, we see um, Kiss was another um, um, artist on his roster, P. Funkadelic, the Isley Brothers, um, Gladys Knight, um, Edwin Hawkins. I don't even know how we got to Edwin Hawkins. Um, and it was somebody else. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Uh, 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 the one that, the, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, Bill Weathers. Bill Weathers. But let me tell you about this scene that Barry Gordy is talking about. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I came out of that movie. Now, me and Spiller Boy TV went to go see this movie, okay? And we literally left the movie and we went to get something to eat. And we had a whole conversation about this. Because I literally left the movie and I said... I wonder how Barry Gordy is going to feel about how that movie portrayed him. Because in the movie, it absolutely did exactly what that lawsuit says. It did show there was a scene when they were in Florida, I believe after a Bill Withers concert, where they were like cornered um, in like, you know, like an alley. And they literally had these thugs, you know, they was black, um, had them at gunpoint and basically said... Barry Gordy sent us to take to take y'all out. And he, in the movie, he had to call, like, he was associated with, like, the mob. 
So, in the movie, he called his mob friends, who in turn called Barry's mob friends to get those thugs to call off the hit, right? That's how it went down in the movie. And I remember asking Spillable, I was like, do you think that's how it really went down? Like, we've all heard stories about Barry Gordy. We've all heard that Barry Gordy, you know, you know, you know. But honestly, I thought that was bold even for a movie. Now, I will say this. The first thing in the first scene of the movie, they say everything in this movie is true, even the stuff that isn't true. And so, of course, by the end of the movie, you end up having a whole conversation trying to figure out, well, what part of this do you think really happened versus what part of this didn't? Because they clearly told you at the beginning of the movie, hey, all of this might not be true. Um... For example, they made a big deal about Donna Summer recording Love to Love You Baby. And in the movie, Neil actually flew to London or Germany, wherever, I think Germany, where Donna Summer was living at the time, went into the studio with her to recut the song. Now, she had already cut the song. It didn't really do nothing. So they were recutting the song. And in the movie, he was literally in the studio with her. And basically, they made it seem like some things went down in the studio while she was doing the song. If you've ever heard Love to Love You Baby, you know what I'm talking about. Well, we know that's not true. Like, if you know the story of Donna Summer and Love to Love You Baby, you know that that did not happen. Neil Bogart was not in Germany. He was not even in Europe when this happened. So, do I think he has a strong case for a lawsuit? Child, y'all know ain't nobody's attorney. But I will say I understand why he's upset. And I understand why he would want to sue. But because they literally said not everything in this um, this movie is true, I just don't know. But because Barry Gordy is a real person, I mean, he has a right to say, you don't get to lie on me and just say, oh, well, I said it was a lie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm nobody's attorney. But as somebody who saw the movie, I honestly walked away questioning whether that was something that Barry Gordy would have done and if Barry Gordy was really about that life like that. Like, you really, from Detroit, sent thugs to Florida to this man? Because in the movie, that is exactly what they said. And they did say it was because, you know, he um lured away some of Motown's top artists at the time, being Gladys Knight and the Osley Brothers. Now... I read an article that talked about what was real and what was fake. A few weeks ago, we looked at the Donna Summer documentary and we reviewed it on my channel. And so we talked about, I, I did, I was looking up some articles to try to get some more information about Donna Summer and when she sued Casablanca Records. And I came across an article. I'm going to try to find the, the link and put it in this video. Let me put it in the description box. But I found an article that talked about spending gold. And it talked about what was true and what wasn't true in the movie. And it did go down the list of things that are questionable. And they talked about this scene. They talked about the Barry Gordy scene. Now, from what I remember in the article, what was said was that there was a rivalry between Barry Gordy and um, Neil and, you know, the two record labels. And that Barry Gordy did have beef with him. But they said that the story... That story about the thugs coming to, you know, off them was exaggerated and it was not true. At least in the article. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. Do you think he has, a, like, a, a case? Do you think he has a right to be upset? Do you think that he just, you know, it's just, he taking it too serious. The man said this stuff in the movie that's not true. Just laugh it off and keep it moving. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't know. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.